<laughs> These gentlemen by now probably have, have said all they want to say about their tour, about their new CD, about Woodstock, but by God, we're going to put their feet to the fire one more time. Here are David Crosby and Stephen Stills and Graham Nash. Hey, Crosby. Tom, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Crosby, Stills, my and Nash. Stephen Stills. Yes, well. and my name is Neil Young. <laughs> <laughs> you just looked at me and said, here's David Crosby. No, 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 he knows which is which. Honest, trust me, he does. Oh, he does his own. Don't do this to me. I just got off an airplane, for heaven's sake. <laughs> you just got off the Greg Kinnear show. Yes, yes. We did. And funny man. Uh, and, and you're in the middle of your tour, which I hear is going smashingly, and you're just back from Woodstock. Right. We, yep. We've had a hell of a summer, Tom. Yes, you All have. these things. Obvious question. 25 years ago, Woodstock and the event just concluded. Comparance, comparisons and similarity and the differences that you noticed. While well, you were. the first difference was that the entire backstage was full of press. You could not go yeah. from one spot to the other without running into somebody with a camera or a radio yeah. or another thing. And all of their crews would spend half of their time asking for autographs. <laughs> It, it was Which is it, on the one hand flattering because they never do that, but on the other hand, it made for made for heavy going. You know, the, 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 it just took forever to do. It was a bit too much of a media event. There's no question. Yeah, it really was. It was more of a media event, I think, than it was for the people who attended it. It wasn't not if you true. were there. If yeah, you were yeah. there. But I mean, for those of us not there. Right. For, you, for, for those of you who are not there, it was a media thing. Uh, for what happened there was pretty much what happened the first time. He said this everybody, earlier. Everybody said, yes. did exactly the same thing. They took the place over. They did exactly what they wanted. All of, all of their very carefully arranged things worked for about a day and a half. And then went... And everybody just camped where they wanted to and took care of themselves and loved each other out of hassles and the whole nine yards and nobody was angry. And but what, what about the people who were there? Like, were there people there who were at Woodstock or at the concert 25 years ago? Oh, I'm sure Who, who, who would be there now with their kids so that you have, you, you got the two generations there? Yeah, Absolutely. we saw them. It's very much like the people that come and see us at our concerts now, you know. Sure. All the people are bringing their, their kids, you know. Our concerts are like that. They're 15 to about 55. And, uh, and it's a, you know, a, a, an incredible mix. And it, it came as quite a shock to us when that started happening. But, uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. They do that. Sometimes, you know, mom and dad sit on one side of the hall and the kids go to the other. Oh, really? And sometimes yeah, they, they all sit together. And I had this one kid that was cute as hell. That was funny. He's about 15. And he's sitting here and he's looking really, really uncomfortable because he's with mom and dad and his little sister and everything. And I worked over and I said, dude, it's not that bad. And I ripped off the shred of the solo and gave him the pick. So he was... <laughs> <laughs> and do the do the parents or the do kids sometimes look at their parents and 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 wonder if they get it? Yes, didn't we do that to ours? Yeah. Didn't you do it to yours? Of course I did. Yeah, I'm sure all kids do that. Yeah. They all question their parental authority and my kids are doing it right now. You know, and uh, you recognize that it is part of a process, and God bless them, and their kids are going to do it to them. Just wait, kid. You know, the thought occurs to me that, you know, the original concert was 25 years ago, so all of us have seen quite a bit of water flow under the bridge. Yes, we have. And, and if we were all together 25 years ago, could, could we ever expect what has happened to us to have happened? Like, you know, we got kids. Absolutely not. I didn't even at. think I'd live to yeah. be 30. Yeah. <laughs> It's Matter of fact, I very nearly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did everything you could to preclude the possibility. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Ouch. Well, <laughs> truth hurts. But, but you know what I mean? Could, 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 25 years ago, could you imagine? But you know what? In all seriousness, didn't it go fast? Oh, God. Yeah, it's like yesterday. By? Oh, God. God. And how old are your kids now? Uh, 16, 14, and 12. Yeah, and they were born two weeks ago, weren't they? The day before yesterday. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's just incredible. Where does it where, where does it all go? Really? Do you realize it's the 25th anniversary of Woodstock, of us, of the NFL, Monday Night Football, and uh, Wendy's? <laughs> If you need a burger, kid, we can cover you. I, mean, <laughs> I can't get you the. Have pain. you ever tried to eat one of those NBC burgers, Tom? Uh, Come yes, on, give yes, me a I have. We will continue with Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and your telephone calls on the toll-free highway. Back after these messages. Right, we're back with Crosby, Stills, and Nash, whose newest CD is called "After the Storm." It's now available in record stores and through the kindness of the record company and. These three gentlemen, we have a couple to give away to all the people who call in while they're here tonight. Here's Jim on the phone from Indiana. Hello. Tom. 
Jim. I'm trying to get a hold of you. Hold it, hold it, months. hold it, hold it. The speaker in the studio is broken, Jim. Open the control room door. I have done oh, so, oh, sir. Very good. Jim, can you hear us okay? I can hear you. Okay, that's great. Hey, Jim. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Fine. What's your question? Well, I was curious as to when you played Woodstock 94, if it felt as magical as it did the first time, or did it feel like just another concert? No, it felt better to me because we were completely stoned out of our mind the first time, and this time we were very clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was straight for the first one, at least until the concert. I definitely over. was not. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Makes a big difference, Jim. Stay straight. Yeah, well, I, I know the difference. I'm sure there. you do, my friend. All right, Jim, stay on the line here. We'll get your address and send you the uh, the copy of the CD, okay? Okay, Tom. All right, love terrific. Show. Leave the door open because if the door closes, we can't hear the phone we calls. We just I can't hear them anyway. All, I'm half deaf. All, all together. So unless they Tom, do you know that there is a guy work. crawling around behind the it's chair? Not a guy. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes Let me look a little more closely. <laughs> <laughs> right you are, Tom. <laughs> so how can you perform when you're stoned out of your mind? Um, because you just concentrate on the music. Yeah. That's why I, I have very few memories from the first Woodstock, because we were so locked into each other and locked into what we were playing and the tuning of the guitars and stuff that uh, you can do that. But, but you just don't see everything. And this time we saw everything. And plus, you know, we played in the afternoon, which is which is just fabulous, you know. And it just, uh, you know, I mean, that tremendous mass of people, all that energy, and all that yeah. great spirit, and even the mosh pit was cool, you know. You also, know what, it, it you depends know what on what you're uh, 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 it depends on what you're stoned on too. If you're smoking uh, some herbal right. substance, that's one thing, you know. If you, you know, I I never could play on acid. The guitar was three feet thick, and the strings were made out of rubber, and, I, uh, and we were all on different songs. What were you trying to do to yourself, for God's sake? Oh, I don't know. Expand my consciousness, I think. And, and did you finally just leave it behind you on the trail? I mean, do you use that stuff anymore? Or? No. I think that when David was, was quitting heroin and cocaine in solitary confinement in a Texas jail, that can whop you upside this, the This head. would get your attention, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah. happened. Yeah. Hello? Texas Department of Corrections yeah. said, Hi, <laughs> this is your wake-up call. <laughs> you probably didn't laugh about it at the time. No, not, no, a bit. not at all. Not a bit. Debbie in North Carolina, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you, Debbie? Let me open the door, honey, so we can hear you. Go ahead, Deb. Oh, I love your show, Tom. Love Thanks, you. Debbie. Um, and I love, love Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I was wondering um, if David enjoyed his stint on Larroquette. It was absolutely wonderful. I loved it. Uh, I, I, I hope that I get to do it some more. John Larroquette is a wonderful guy to work with, and it was a great learning experience for me. I, uh, absolutely fabulous. Thank you it very much. It was so much fun to watch. Call NBC and have yeah, them call keep it going. Call NBC and tell them you want to see me some more. That'll work. I really will. It was great, especially when you stood up as a sponsor and, and the one that you said, you know, you're the one that had a drink was getting a newcomer chip. Yep. We uh, all cracked up around here. It was yeah. pretty, uh, pretty... Believe me, so did we. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Well, thank you very much. You're all welcome, right, Debbie. Man. Put her on hold and get your address. We'll send you the CD after the storm, okay? Thanks. Love you, Tom. All right. Thanks, Deb. We love you back. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Gina, Long Island, New York. Hello. Um, hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to mention that I have been a fan for a long time. I, I was at both Woodstocks, as a matter of fact. Nice. And my question is with regards to the new book by Dallas Taylor. Um, I'm wondering um, what you guys think about the book, and also, now that he's cleaned up his act, do you expect to play with him anymore? Well, I, I for one, you know, as I explained to Tom a little earlier, um, didn't remember much about it. And I know Dallas was higher than I was, and for him to remember all that detail is completely <laughs> beyond... Very <me>. suspicious. <laughs> Very suspicious. Uh, Gina, we, Gina, as a spectator at both concerts, the one 25 years ago and now, what was different? A participant, I'd like to think of it. I beg your pardon? I'd like to think of myself as a participant more than a spectator. Okay. Be that as it may, the question is, what was different from you at the two concerts? What was different for you? Um, I think it was pretty much the same. There was a lot of uh, good reaction with all the people. I think the main difference is that there were more generations present at this one. Mm -hmm. uh, before, it was all everybody was pretty much young, and now we saw a lot of families together, and older people, younger people. It was great. Yeah. So it made it for you a little bit better the second time? Um, different. 
different. different. I enjoyed both of them. Okay. All right, Gina, I'm glad you called. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Put her on hold and send her this one. <laughs> nice cat. Thank you. Uh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Mark <laughs> nice shot, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Mark, participant on that session. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, thank okay. you very kindly. Yeah. You'll be at the Amphitheater, Universal Amphitheater, here on October 16th. 17th, 18th. 18th. And are you on the road in between? The... We have about 12 more dates. We just finished our 44th show on the road in Philadelphia the night before last. Where, where, where'd you play there? The Spectrum? Uh, no, we played at. Uh, Man. Man Music Center. Man Music Center. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's new since I lived in Two Philadelphia. Yeah. Long yeah, it's time. It's a great place. Right. They love us in Philadelphia. Hey, they love you everywhere. Yeah. And we love you here. And thanks for coming back. It's great to see all of you again. Absolutely. It's been too many years. Thanks, David, Tom. thanks a million. Thank you, Tom. Okay, my great pleasure. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And the new CD is called After the Storm. Tomorrow night, Paranoia. And, uh, and, and, and what else? Who else is coming in here tomorrow night? Mel Torme. Oh, Mel Torme. Oh, hey, hey, more, hey, Mr. Music himself. Thank you all for watching. Drive safely on the way home. And uh, good night, everybody.